it's your boy Adam Ra. Welcome to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, it's 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 this is gonna be like a blackout uh reading or whatever. Um, there was something that came up today. Um, there was this man. There was something that uh I had to I had to bring out to the forefront, like. This, like, for the most part, this reading is basic. was not even really a reading. It's just a, something that was on my mind or whatever. But um, if you got somebody who is, like, an elderly, like, a parent, elderly parent, uh, older people and stuff like that, make sure y'all check on them people. And make, especially if they are in homes or stuff like that, they got nurses and stuff like that that's uh, in home working with them and stuff because um somebody said something that triggered a memory like somebody said something today about uh watch out for old elderly people or something like that and it just triggered this memory about somebody that i used to know and what this person told me was that they them, like them and their friends they would find like these older men okay and these older men you know they got like checks and they got money okay they got money coming in they got checks and stuff coming in and all that good stuff or whatever but they just don't you know they still want to live their younger life especially when it comes to like sex and stuff like that you know so they like to flash their cash around younger women to get younger women and you know what I'm saying draw them in with the money and then you know just pay them you know what I'm saying that kind of thing right this individual told me about how her friend would well her and her friend basically had you know was hooked up with this older man or whatever and I guess the older man would have him doing like threesomes and stuff like that or whatever, you know, whatever he wanted to, want it done, they do it or whatever for the money and all that. And the uh, man would like, you know, the man had like, you know, an apartment and all that stuff. He might have like a three bedroom apartment, you know, him and the, uh, the girl or him, him and her friend will have one room. And then she basically, you know, they basically let her move in and all this other stuff. So, you know, long story short, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, I, you know, try to stay out of people's business or whatever and all that good stuff. But be careful about who your elderly parents are like dealing with and stuff like that. Cause there are people out here who want to be considered like, um, what do they call those people? Uh, 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 Mona Lisa's a uh, Mona Lisa. But they're doing it to older men and women and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's one thing if, you know, they can move around and they good. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing. But, you know, check on them. Because sometimes they might just have some, uh, you know, they might have people in there that, that don't mean them no good. You know what I'm saying? And, and then by them being elderly, they can't get rid of the people. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden it turns into a thing where... Uh, their checks are getting stolen and their inheritances and stuff like that is being stolen and stuff from them because you know uh, I was listening to a lot of the readings and stuff and it was talking about how there was like this older person and this couple and stuff and it was it like it didn't dawn on me I don't know why it didn't dawn on me until now but it got to the point where it had me thinking, like, what if there's somebody, like, doing magic or doing binding spells on elderly people and keeping them bed bound, marrying them and keeping them bed bound, using confusion spells and stuff on them, just like the skeleton key. If you ever see that movie, The Skeleton Key, check that movie out. So if you do have elderly parents and stuff like that, check on them, make sure and, and double check their... Uh, their uh, life insurance policies and stuff like that, their wills and life insurance policies, because there are a lot of, uh, you know, what they want to want to be smart or young people out here 
who are basically like rodents and roaches that are invading these people's lives and not letting them go. You know what I'm saying? And they'll put, they'll even go as far as to petition the court to get full custody over these elderly people and sign their rights away and stuff like that to keep them and then keep them away from the family and then slowly poison these people until they die just to get their inheritances and stuff like that. So definitely check out your, your grandma, your grandparents and stuff like that. Keep in constant contact with you. I know that everybody lived their life. You got to live your life and stuff like that. Granddaddy's still a freak. <laughs> grandma still need to get hers, whatever it may be. But, you know, make sure that you, you know, at least check in on them. And make sure that you, you know what I'm saying, you are there with them. And and make and go or go make sure that you make it where it's like you you make it make it where you can have personal time with them and make it where the y'all you know what I'm saying where y'all not being spied on and all that other shit like take them out to a movie or take them out somewhere where if they need to tell you something they can tell you and then y'all can work on a plan from there you know what I mean. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my grandparents, you know, so, um, but, and thank God that, you know, it didn't happen to them, but this is something that definitely need to be checked out, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, looked into for certain people, if this applied to you, it may not even apply to everybody, but this is definitely something that needs to be said, you know what I mean, because, you know, a lot of these older people, they spent their entire lives fighting for us to have a certain kind of lifestyle or to live a certain kind of way. And now the only thing that they have to show for it is for some lazy, no good people trying to get over on them, especially with this surge in spirituality. There's been a surge of people who want to be considered witches and warlocks and stuff and the spiritual realm. But, you know, some of them don't even know about, uh, you know, the basics especially about taking spiritual baths and stuff like that you know what i mean so yeah when you get a chance you know check on them and stuff like that and yes it, that is a true story that was an absolute true story um you know and you know i, I mean we all heard the story about how there are strippers out here who you know drug people and you know what i'm saying stuff like that and rob them and then a lot of these, you know, especially married men, and then these married men can't say or do anything unless they want trouble with their wives or have to face a divorce. You see what I'm saying? Well, this is also uh, happening to elderly people as well. And then there's all one last thing is that, you know, uh, the children aren't, you know, um, kids basically aren't like uh, immune to this either. Okay, because there are some people out here who are uh, adopting children or fostering children to sex traffic them or force them into sex trades and stuff like that. And then, like, you know, calling them all kind of punks and bullying these kids, bullying kids into having sex with people and stuff like that for money. Some of them don't even know that they're having sex with people for money, but. They will bully these people and bully these kids. And by these kids being so young, you know what I'm saying? They It make them feel like that they can't say anything about it or whatever. So if you do have like, you know, foster kids you have, or even, you know, kids that all, anyone that is young that you, you know, care about, you know, you don't have to be all up in their life, but it's good to have a good connection with them where they are unashamed and unafraid to come to you and tell you about something that's going on in their life that they may be ashamed to tell their parents. You see what I'm saying? So that's all I have for today. Um, I did do a new form of divination today. Um, I'm going to have to introduce it into the channel. Uh, I It's it's wild. <laughs> like it's why it's it's really really wild okay um the message that i did get today was that there was this mother figure who had stolen someone's inheritance 
stole and that's what brought up the, about the adoption and the fostering and stuff like that there's a mother out here who stole inheritance from some kind of child or stole the inheritance or a gift and they stole it with their partner whoever their partner is whether their partner is like a boyfriend or a girlfriend this is a mother that stole it from like maybe i want i want to say like an adopted child or uh, an, a, a foster child or you know something like that you know what i'm saying or it could just be a, a, a circumstance situation where the other spouse passed and and gave this inheritance to the child or whatever it may be but they stole the child's money okay and then another thing to the trolls out there like you know i did learn a new form of divination and with that new form of divination i found out that there was someone out here trying to um trying to do spell work to kind of like restrict my will or trying to block my enlightenment and they were trying to like doing like freezer spells and delay spells and stuff like that. But you know, I turned it over to God and I'ma let them handle it. You know, I'm I'm over the trolling thing, you know, but you know, oh man. After the brain dead horse after the brain dead horse uh reading, which I still laugh about, um yeah. I you know, I'm you know, I oh man. I don't, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> All I know is I would have left you where it was at, right? But either way, um, I'm going to get back into the groove of um, doing what I've been doing or whatever. Uh, occasionally, it may come up that I might do a, I have to do a reading outside of what I normally do or whatever. And, you know, I'm going to let it be. I'm going to let it be. At this point, I'm just going to go with the flow of things because uh, I had to... I had like revelation about it like maybe maybe god wants me to say certain stuff even though it's dramatic and there's a lot of chaos and stuff like that maybe that's how the how god wants it to be for me to deliver a message based off of what i see in the cards versus trying to you know trying to make it where it's a lot more positive than you know what i'm saying so because let's be real there's positivity in where there's also negativity you know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, that's my message for tonight. Um, I love y'all all. Get some rest. Um, and I'll be back on the channel probably tomorrow, if not the day after, to uh, do my new divination and stuff. All right. This is your boy Adam Raw. Peace.